Welcome, welcome. This is going to be my first commentary video since I can't use the audio in the video because of the music that was playing in the background. But anyway, this is just a uh, random online link battle that I had. Decided to record it because of the event that unfolded in the match. But uh, get ready for this incoming shiny team. That's not mine. So they open up with the shiny Titar. And I decided to poop out a Steelix because, you know, Steelix. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want this Tyranitar on the field. So, either I go for the setup or he goes for the setup. It's either way. So, I decide to go with the Earthquake over Stealth Rock. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to try to set up a Stealth Rock and not go for the Earthquake. Which, in my opinion, I would have gone with Earthquake if I was a Tyranitar. But, turns out, no. They go for the Stealth Rock. Here comes the Earthquake. I deal about 50% damage or so. Um, they get the weakness policy off of that. But it's fine. It's fine. We're in a good position. We're in good shape. So we're going to go for a second Earthquake. And hopefully we can knock it out with that. But of course, you know, it's faster. It's going to hit us. We tank it. It's fine. Here we go. Earthquake. And boom. Gone. Bye. Out. And of course, he sends out Zacian. Oh, no. I know I'm dead. I know I can't outspeed it. I'm gonna go for the cheeky earthquake anyway, just because, you know, gotta try something, you know? It's no point, you know, just sitting there not doing anything. Gotta try to make a move. Gonna get knocked out anyway. So, whatever. It's fine. Expected. I weigh my options, but I'm almost 100% sure I can outspeed Zack in with Excadrill. I'm not 200% sure about knocking it out, but you know, it's better than you know trying so we go for the earthquake because like i said i'm almost 100 percent sure we can outspeed it knocking it out not so much but we go take the gamble and it pays off we knock out zaki fucking let's go zaki out let's get it going we got some momentum in comes a shiny togekiss wow a shiny togekiss who would have thought i debate on who i should switch in which, you know, of course, I cut that out. And I'm just weighing my options here. And I guess I just decide in the end. Toxicity is probably going to be the best choice here. Granted that I'm poisoned. And I believe Togekiss is part fairy. So typing, yeah, let's go. Let's get it. I know I can probably tank whatever Togekiss is going to throw at me. Which I believe it throws a flamethrower. Yes, there it is. I could tank this flamethrower. And I could probably return something and do some good damage. Now my hope here is that I don't get outsped, but if I get outsped, it's fine as long as I don't get knocked, it's good. So we get outsped, we get hit with Yawn, we're gonna fall asleep next turn, but it's fine, we got this. Throw out the Sludge Wave, do some good damage to it, and let's get it. Boom, about 80% damage, which is totally cool. It's fine, I got this. So this is where I make my mistake. I'm pretty sure I can get this Volt Switch, but behold, Togekiss with Protect, not going to hit it, not going to get the Switch out, don't get to avoid the sleep, get put to sleep, and we make mistakes. But it's fine, it's totally fine. So while we're trying to take a nap, this Togekiss is going to go for a nasty plot. Which is totally understandable, you know? We're asleep. They get to get the extra punch, that extra juice to hit harder. It's fine. Understandable. I would do the same. New turn. We're going to try to wake up. Try to get that hit. If we don't. They go for a nasty plot. Again, which in my opinion, kind of risky. But it pays off because I don't wake up. Now here I think they're not gonna go for another nasty plot. They wouldn't be that cheeky. Once they don't, they hit the flamethrower. I go, get knocked out, it's fine, we'll be okay. I decided to bring an Italian. 
I know I can outspeed it, and hopefully I can throw out one move that can knock it out because its health is roughly about 50%. I think about it, do I take my chances with Hydro Pump? Let's go for it. What's the worst that can happen? I can miss, not that bad. So we go for the Hydro Pump. Luckily, Hydro Pump goes, it hits, it scores, and Togekiss is down. So I thought. We get hit with Yawn. I know the move. If I try to hit, it's gonna use Protect, and I get put to sleep. Not falling for that again. So I decide to switch off. Don't know who to bring out. Weigh my options again. It's all about yes, I get put drag pulled out, maybe. I don't know. Let's try it. You know, what's the worst that can happen? I could get smacked, I could get knocked out. I don't think so. Not possible. So. I get hit with the uh, Stealth Rock. It's fine. Togekiss goes for the Protect, just as I thought. Not falling for that one. Not this time. So here I have two options. Dragapult has Infiltrator, which I can hit regardless of Protect. But U-Turn isn't going to do a lot of damage. So I go for the opposite. We go for Phantom Force. I'm going to vanish. I'm not going to get hit anyway. And even if it uses Protect and it gets the chance that protect goes off, I can hit it anyway. It's a win-win. So with that being done, Togekiss goes, I win the battle. Let's go, momentum. Out comes the shiny Sylveon. Pretty, but it's a yikes for me. I think, what can I do? Let's go for the U-turn. We'll hit it for some damage. We'll switch out into something, and we got this. So, knowing full well that Sylveon's gonna use a fairy type move, who can tank a fairy type move? Excadrill. Now, I know I can also outspeed Sylveon, so it's a win win. Now here I think, do I go for the setup? Do I go straight for the earthquake? What's my best option here? My best option is to go for the setup. Sylveon's not gonna hit me. They might go for the switch. They go for protect, which is totally okay with me. I can get my swords dance in and get the boost. Now, I know at this point, they're not gonna try for another protect. It's gonna fail. More than likely it's gonna fail. But they might. I'll take the chance and go for Earthquake. So what do they do? They swap into a shiny Snorlax this time. Wow, shiny Snorlax. Earthquake, mm -mm. gone, almost. Very decent amount of damage, uses the berry, brings back to about 50%. I know I can outspeed it, so we're going to slap it with another Earthquake, which I know is going to completely knock it out of the ballpark. Lo and behold, it gets knocked. Pog Champ, let's get it. Waiting, waiting. Okay, bye. <laughs> get Rex on. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys next time.